Hello guys and welcome back to our second episode of our Let's Play. I've just realized we spawned in the wrong save point, which makes me think that maybe I forgot to save it last time. But while we're here, we might as well go and make sure that we've got the mask. And I wanted to print out the sled as well. And the other thing was that tech mesh. Let's see if this unlocks a different craftable material for us. New crafting recipe available. Ah, here we go. Right, so if we add that, we can see we have tech arm. Ooh, tech armor, which requires wires. I think that's a paper target. I might be mistaken, but there's quite a lot of stuff there. Okay, we're not going to be able to do that just yet. Um, we are super tired. So what time is it? 5.30. Okay, so we might as well sleep here. Right, let's head out, head back to camp, collect our wonderful Kelvin, who we left injured last time. Yeah, we've got some meds, so we can head back, heal him, hopefully, and from there we'll be able to move our base, do a bit more of the story, and hopefully build our defenses up. Hey, what's this? Um, we have... Oh, Ammunition? No gun, but we have ammunition. That's good. <laughs> Fancy leaving some grenades around. I'll take that. More. And see... Goodness me. And we should be almost home. Yeah, here we are. Oh, wow. There's a lot of them. Let's just hide. Any trouble. What's Kelvin doing? Oh, too late. I think they've seen me. Yeah, they've seen me. Oh, no! Kelvin, I need you! Get up! Kelvin? Wait, Kelvin? What? Do you kill Kelvin? You killed Kelvin! Oh, I don't know what to do, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Perhaps I went a bit over the top. Um, oh yeah, Kel Kelvin's definitely dead. Um, oh, but there are some feathers. Honestly, I hadn't anticipated losing Kelvin and I don't know why we couldn't heal him. Supposedly, if you didn't kill him yourself, he won't die, but that definitely didn't happen. Given the fact that he's dead and the base is destroyed now, I think we should probably finish it there and just restart with a new Let's Play. Oh, this is really cool. This is, this is really cool. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes. I wonder if you can do the whole length in a single ride. Right, I'm going to start over and we'll get started again. And we're back. Ooh, felt like, ow, like a bad nightmare. But it's you again. <laughs> I get this feeling of deja vu. Ah. Well, hopefully this time we'll have our friend Kelvin alive. We'll be able to get to a, a place and start surviving. I think with this, we're going to change the location anyway that we were living. Yeah, look. You're alive! I thought you were dead! Don't worry. So now that we've got Kelvin, we're going to find somewhere else that's better located for a base. Somewhere that we can defend. Um, maybe somewhere that's a little bit safer for building as well. Looking at our map, I'm going to head straight to the first place that we ended up going to on the GPS, GPS locator. We'll grab some stuff. And then from there, I think maybe that lake there would be a good spot for us to start building. And here we are at the lake. But I think this area is going to be pretty good for us to build in if, and that is if we can build in the water. And I'm not sure we can. If it's anything like the original, then the cannibals... Ooh, would you look at that? The cannibals couldn't swim. So this could be a really easy way to defend our base by building in the center. And notice how by placing that log there, we're able to build out further. I'm going to keep doing this. We'll see what happens. Well, it's currently nighttime because I wasn't able to finish the build. In fact, we're having a little bit of trouble with it. I'll show you when we get back. So I thought it best to check out this area and grab whatever we can, first of all. 
Let's load that in. Anyway, we're going to get ourselves the flask. Maybe the mask. I'm not sure how necessary it is just yet. Arm helm. Oh, wait. This is the armor that we can produce. And yeah, I think it's just for now the mask that we could do with. Right, I'm going to get some sleep and we will be back after all right and it is a beautiful day we're going to head back up to our little place and hopefully get the house on the go and after that we'll look at doing some building but first i need to eat something that'll do mmm delicious and oh we also need some water which is Pretty simple, let's just drink that. As for the building, not progressing great. We have a few logs that absconded <laughs> from the build and are floating around the lake. And the build itself isn't as easy as I thought it would be. Yeah, so that's the problem. You see that log over there, that was launched from me trying to put this up. And we'll try it again on this one. Oh, once again, you work now that I'm recording. Typical. So I've been moderately frustrated at the build options because it, it makes it very difficult to build outwards and we're kind of stuck here until we can find a way to lift this up. So for the time being, we're just focusing on building the walls. I'm gonna fill this in so that we have enough space for the two of us to, well, for me to sleep. Calvin can sleep outside, providing he doesn't die again. I am well aware that this doesn't look like much, but we have got a very basic setup on the go. I'm still working on it. The cannibals are getting close, but still they're, they're staying pretty far. I do need to build some kind of wall, at least around this section. But for the time being, I think we're going to close this off and hopefully go to the next objective. Uh, of course, I do need some food, but good old, oh wow. <laughs> Kelvin did not waste any time. I'm gonna eat a second one. We'll get a drying rack on the go as well so that we can dry this fish because Kelvin's very busy. In fact, he seems so enthusiastic. Wait there, wait there, wait there. Please get the, ro the logs and fill the holders. It's gonna be a, a safer thing to ask him to do. With our food supply in place, the next thing that we need to do is to work out how to fill up our flask. And I think it should be pretty simple. Yeah, nice and easy, fantastic. Now that we have an impenetrable fortress, I can go out and do some more exploring. I should probably take some of the food with me, have a little quick sip and off we go. Let's head towards that eye. I'm very much hoping once we get to this location that I'll be able to find some more rope. If not, I'm going to have to run down to the beach and find the rope there. There's nothing here. Is it the other side of this cliff? No, oh, I think it might be. Oh, oh, well, we found rope. Yay. Do you have an accident? Oh, he's there. I can see him. Oh dear. Oh. Oh my goodness me. Hey, don't you do that. I need to get my friend down. I can't believe you just... Did you hang him? All right, let's get him down. I guess we can just chop. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. That looked painful. How are you doing? Is this the guy that... No, it can't be the guy that... This must... This is the other team, right? Ooh, torch. Interesting. Oh, and we can use this GPS locator on, I guess, someone else because we can change the position. Oh, unless it's for us to mark. Oh, let's see if we can build ourselves a bow. Look at that. Is that right? I hope so. Yeah, that'll do. Just need to... Uh, Oh, oh, goodness me. Oh, speaking of which, we are injured. Now, we can use meds, but actually we've got some aloe vera here. And we've also got horsetail, fireweed, and we can combine them together to create a health mix. So let's eat that. And there we go. We are, we, we're full of health. Lovely. I'm feeling like I'm doing surviving now. 
Oh, okay, I take that back. Oh, goodness me. Oh, we do look at that. We have Virginia here as well. Let's try not. Oh, there's a guy now. Oh, you are ugly. Oh. Yeah, I, I know Virginia. Oh, no, no, Virginia. Uh. Ah. Ah. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to get out of this, then save the game, <laughs> because I don't want to die permanently. Don't think they're coming after me just yet. We're almost here at the next location. Looks like a campsite. Oh, it won't be in a cave. Fanta- No, it's gonna be in a cave. Dig? Well, uh, there's a slight problem with that. I've got nothing to dig with. Okay, I guess we'll be going to the other one, which is opposite me. Yeah, okay. I'm a little concerned that Virginia went down at the campsite, and I think I might need to pick her up, but I don't want to go back there just yet, so we'll, we'll see. Maybe I'll try and collect her. We're by the location. So I'm going to create some arrows just really quickly. I know we've got some carbon fiber ones, but I'd rather not waste them unless we absolutely need them. Oh, it's a blooming cave. It's definitely a cave. Well, we can save the game here, I guess. Oh dear. Hmm. Let's set up camp. Onwards to the beach. Well, uh... That's quite the welcome. <laughs> so we are now at the beach by the looks of it. We're just gonna run down here. Wow, this world is so big. If you'd like to see us do like a cliffside base, do let me know in the comments. All right, it's time to go in. Once again, there's, there's gonna be something here, I'm sure. Nothing again. Just makes it so much worse. Newspaper article, The Sunset Times. Puff Corp, wait, Puff Corp out bids Sahara Therapeutics for Remote Island. Uh, those are who we're looking for. Interesting. Wait, what does it say underneath? Location of island is still unknown. I think we found it. Okay, I can hear bats. If I can hear bats, I won't be, that's not freaky at all. Oh dear Lord. Holy look, goodness me, this game. I've also noticed that blooming Kelvin didn't choose to join me. I can hear, I can see. Ha, 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 ha. Ah, no. Not friendly, not friendly. Oh, they're, they're all coming! They're all coming! Is that a finger? There's a fingers, there's a fingers. It's time for a grenade. No, it ran! I think I got it. I think I got it. Nice. Can't hear anything. Wait, what the... What the hell is that over there? There's another one! There's another one! There's another one! Ah! Ow! Ah! Out! I want out! I want out! Oh my goodness me. Um, we need to take some... Combine with that and aloe vera. Eat that. There's me just here chilling. Oh, you know what? We have a bow. Why don't we use it? Oh, flare, flare. Did I need to twirl it first? Oh, boss. Ow, ow. Ah. Ah. Okay, I think we need to try that again. I'm heading back in, but this time I'm not gonna be scared because we know they're not going to come until later. I'm hoping that oh, I'm hoping that even then I'll be okay because with this light, my hope is that they won't be able to see me. Oh! 
<laughs> no! Okay, so they can still see me. Oh, he's coming at me! <laughs> oh my goodness me, he runs so quick. Oh. That was easier than I thought it would be. I could do with a friend in this game just so that I can, you know, when I need to, like they can have a light on and I can do some bow and arrow. I feel bad that they can't see anything. Else. There's another! There's... <laughs> oh my goodness me, this is low and terrifying. As long as he's still standing there, I'm feeling confident. Yeah, okay. No, retreat, retreat and heal. I'm stuck. <laughs> not cool, not cool. Just got to make sure. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. It's enough freaking me out for one night. Hopefully it's all safe sailing from here on out. Oh, we can skin them. Bit weird. Creepy armor. I hope we don't need any more grenades, because I am out. <gasps> There's a shark. There's a friggin' shark. Oh. Ooh, multiple items that we can craft in the inventory? What, with an arm? Where, where is the arm? A raw arm? What? <laughs> no! Oh my- oh. I just ate the raw arm. There should have been like a- Do you- Do you accept to eating human meat? Oh. Ooh, what's it? Ooh. A rebreather. That's exactly what... I don't know how we use it, but that's exactly... Oh, did I just put it on? So we have the rebreather, but I've got a feeling if we go in the water, we, we're going to get eaten. Oh, wait, can we swim? Are we meant to swim down there? Do we need to go down and kill it? Do we need to kill it? Do we need to swim down there? Because I'm quite happy not to. Oh shoot. oh shoot! Oh shoot! No! No swim! No swim! No! 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 no. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's what you got for trying to eat me! No! 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 Okay. That's enough fun for me. That's enough fun for me. No! 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 I'm out. I'm leaving. I'm getting out of there. I uh, don't get- no, not happening. We've got the rebreather, I don't think we need anything else. There's more of them! What the hell? This is on the way out! Oh, that's gonna hurt! Oh, well, I think it'll kill him. I- I- I genuinely feel a bit bad. I feel terrible. <laughs> Poor guy. I'm sorry! <laughs> well, it was- it was- it was him or me. Oh, fresh air! And this is daylight again! Let's see what the time is. Yeah. Day five, we're going to head back to the base and just set up, just to improve that a little bit. I've just realized the trees are turning red, which means autumn's on its way. It seems really quick, but if autumn's on its way, we need to be prepared for winter. Poor person in the water. Let's see what they've got. Hopefully a few more grenades because those were really useful against fingers. Oh, but you know what we can create because I've got some cloth. Molotov. Hey, what is this? Is this what I... <gasps> it's an axe. This is fantastic. No one's going to mess with me now. Oh, I have never been more happy to see home. Goodness me. Axe is so good at chopping down the trees. It's so much better than the tactical one. Look at that. This is how you chop wood. So I started building this and I thought, you know what, this is all right. And then I realized we're gonna need more space, but we can't connect the section from below the surface to one above. And so we have this gap and I'm really not sure what to do with it. Uh, but I think we're just gonna have to have it as is. I highly recommend if you're doing your build to build somewhere flat, because it's gonna be an issue with the building mechanics as they currently are. I really like the building mechanics, don't get me wrong, but there's definitely things like that that they need to improve on. Virginia, you're alive! I'm actually really pleased about that because I thought we may have accidentally killed you, but I do spot a red one and we all remember what happened the last time we met a red one. Oh, oh my goodness. 
I think we'll have to get rid of that. I can't have you seeing that in, in the video. Blur that one. I regret that. Um, let's get rid of that body again. We need sticks. Lots of them. You've got a stick for me, right? Nope. Typical. They're just climbing over the wall. That wasn't very well planned. Let's just go to sleep and pretend nothing happened. I think it's safe to say they're not going to be friends with me. The evidence is gone. Oh, wait, not quite. We need to... Uh, it's where I saw a leg. Uh, we'll, we'll come across it later. So in order to stop the cannibals jumping up on top of here, we need to use the spiked walls. However, the problem is we cannot place spiked walls on top of buildables. I think that's something that ring needs to be added into the game. There's no way I can defend this without adding a wall now. Did that just pick up a squirrel? What the hell? Oh, it's a leg. It's a head. Was a head. That's terrifying. Virginia, what? You are lucky. She's still scared of me. She's still scared. It's fine. Yep. You'll join us at some point. At this point, it is day six, and we're about as prepared as we can be. I'm just going to... Hello, Virginia. Are you going to join us now, or are you just going to chill there? Your choice. We need a way of getting in. Unfortunately, there isn't, like, a gatehouse or anything, or a locked door. So we may have some issues trying to survive attacks, but we can do our best to reduce the amount of uh, positions where they're coming in. It looks like the various plants are starting to die now because winter's around the corner. With that in mind, I have my trusty axe. I'm going to collect as many medicinal items as I possibly can. And there we are. We're now fully stocked up of natural medicines for the winter. Hello again, Virginia. How you doing? Oh, you're running away. I don't know what to do about her, really. There's only so much prepping that we can do, but now that we know that we've got some... Oh, I'm going to forget that's there, aren't I? <laughs> now that we've got some rope easily available to us, I'm going to place a couple of traps just out the front because we have no other way really to defend ourselves if they should attack us. I'll also put some the other side as well. Yeah, that might do. Just gonna need some more rocks. Virginia's back. Virginia, can you make up your mind? Poor Kevin's decided that he doesn't want to path anymore, so he's just constantly walking into the wall, which is a bit of a pain. So I'm just trying to keep him alive. I'm not sure if I've set these traps up correctly because they don't seem to be catching fit. Oh, that one wasn't even finished. <laughs> But this one hasn't caught any fish, so I'm wondering if I've actually placed it in the right position or whether I need to place it somewhere else. I'm, I'm not really sure. Perhaps we're supposed to place them on the river where the fish keep jumping into. I'm going to focus on getting fish in the next one so that we have a bit more food. We need to do something here. I don't know what. And I think we should probably barricade this area a little bit more because I don't fancy really defending us here. Well, I've got to say autumn is well on its way. And I think that within the next episode, we will be seeing winter here. So hopefully we'll be prepared enough. As you can tell, we, we've got the defenses on. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our little cave dwelling. I'm not looking forward to the next one because I really am terrified of this game. But if you did like the video, please do hit the thumbs up. And obviously, if you want to see more and haven't already, do subscribe. And why not check out my video on base building? I'll put a link to that next. Special thanks does go to all of our amazing supporters, most notably our solo clips patrons, James Irwin, Fireflesh, and Trebor, as well as our Lunars, the Calamity, Ben, Star, Shoku, the Yemen Wolf, and that dude, a W, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is the City Rat. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.